so we need to mitigate those um, impacts and keep like the water supply right, safe. Right and so this particular piece of ground has a great legacy. It had been thinned. Um, Let's work on making sure this doesn't happen again. It's, it's just unsustainable. The president was here. Uh, he's engaged on it, and, and obviously we're here because the president's priority is let's fix it. In my mind, no doubt, the temperatures are getting hotter, the season's getting longer. Uh, we are in drought conditions where the, the moisture content is much lower because of the, the drought. Now, taking that to backdrop, it doesn't relieve you the responsibility to do what you can to mitigate the fires. And mitigating the fires is prescribed burns late in the season, removing the fuel loads, uh, getting the diseased timber earlier rather than having millions of acres uh, with disease and, and dead and dying trees. And on this fire, I don't want to ever see a community being shattered like this again. It's unacceptable, it's, it's un-American, and if there is mitigating things we can do to, in, to invest, we we're just talking about how much it costs, uh, this is going to be billions of dollars. Letters are still in the back of the forerunner in the print shop on Clark Road. The print shop burned down. But I Someone did mention that there's an awakening. I think some of the people that have litigated against good forest management techniques are now seeing that the pristine forests that they imagine are no longer pristine when they're burned. And that's the, uh, uh, we can see well-groomed, well-managed forests protect and, and prohibit and preclude the type of devastation we see here. I think we should applaud them and thank them for they and often their colleagues aren't here today. I'll, I'll stop and let, let's hear what your, your perspective on that success was. I, I appreciate the heads up. We can't stop the fires, but we can help prevent the carnage that we see in these kind of fires and some of the litigation that's occurred uh, has been responsible for that. We need to reduce the fuel load. It's not clear cutting, it, it's being, it's coming in and thinning those forests. Logging has become a pejorative term of just massive hillsides of clear cutting and that's not what we're talking about. That's not what reducing fuel load is all about. We're talking about common sense type provisions of prescribed burning at the right times and coming in and reducing all this chaparral and, and, and fuel load on the ground so you don't have these fires that just rage. Yeah, I'm just trying to